Hi there, I'm Paula Quincy, Relationship Expert. Sometimes we have to have what I call courageous conversations. And courageous conversations is where we need to speak to someone about something that we are unhappy with. Whether it be non-performance, non-delivery, or whether it be something that's happened in our personal lives and we need to have that honest conversation with that person. So the first thing that you can do is be aware of where am I at in my head? Am I in a positive frame of mind or a negative frame of mind? And where am I at in my body? Am I in a positive emotional state or a negative emotional state? And then how do I stick to the facts? How do I take all the facts around the situation, around the environment, and use that as a guiding line to help resolve the conflict? By understanding what is the outcome that I would like. And by going in to the situation with a positive intention of having a win-win solution where both parties are feeling heard and both parties' needs are being met. So stick to the facts. The facts help us not become reactive and get caught up in the emotion of the situation. And then there are three different techniques that you can use when it comes to managing conflict. The first one is what I call the awareness technique. And this is where you make the person aware of the conversation and that it's not going to be a comfortable conversation. So for example, you could say, Hey John, I know that you're not going to like hearing what I have to say, but I really have to share something with you and I have to be honest about it, something that is sitting with me. And by saying that up front, you're actually helping the person prepare themselves for a difficult conversation. The other technique that you can use is the domino effect. You know where they have the dominoes stacked up on a table and you touch one domino and it has a domino effect? Well, it's the same kind of scenario. Here, you unpack for the person the knock-on effect that their behavior or non-performance is having on the bigger perspective, either from a team perspective or the situation itself. And what it is that you're looking for in terms of the outcome. And the outcome always needs to be a positive outcome and a win-win solution with solutions on the table. The third technique that you can use is what I call the inquiry effect. And this is really for someone who repeatedly says things such as, I'm so busy, I can't cope, I can't do all of this, I do everything. And there's just a sense of overwhelm and no direction and no detail as to what's going on for them. And here is where you really need to step into the other person's shoes and hear where they're coming from and what's really going on for them. So you need to unpack for them, okay, what is it that you're so busy with that you are not coping and able to get to everything else? Or what is it that you're feeling so overwhelmed about? So when it comes to building relationships, these are some of the core elements that I focus on and work with when I'm working with people in their personal or individual capacity or when I'm working with organizations around building relationships and what is commonly called emotional intelligence, particularly in the workplace. It's often referred to as soft skills. Now, I'm not sure why they call it soft skills because these are some of the hardest skills for us to develop. So if you want to have better quality relationships in your personal world and or your professional world, you need to start developing yourself. In other words, your self-awareness and your emotional intelligence. Please hop across to my website, paulaquincy.com, where you'll find lots of free tools, templates and downloads that you can use to help you with where you're at right now.